I don't have Hudson today, but I have him in spirit. Look, this is the new t-shirt design. Let me try to hold it. This is Hudson in his car with extra good. Um, can you hear me? Hold, let me clip on my mic. That would be a good idea. Let me uh, do that. And we're going to be rollerblading today. OK, wait, hold on. i got to clip it a little better than this. It's hard to do with one hand. James is still recovering from his allergies, so I didn't think he should be out and about today. So, yep, there it is. Mic'd up Hudson live chat. Let's see if you guys can hear me, because I don't see any messages yet. Uh, let me turn us around. Oh, good. You can, can you hear me, uh, Penny? We're at Union Square. If you can hear me loud and clear, let me know. I'm just adjusting the mic again. I didn't feel like it was clipped on too well. Uh, gosh, it's not as easy to clip with one hand. Oh, Penny says yes, he, she can hear me. Good. All right, I'm trying to get it clipped on a little bit better. Oh, I think I got it now. Oh, hey, girl and curl. Hey, EW. Hi, Alexandra. Hi, Rosalind. Yeah, James and Hudson are here in spirit. James is still recovering with his allergies. He's feeling much better. Thank you to everyone who's given us the well wishes. Here, I'll put, I'll put me back on here. Thanks to everyone who's given us the well wishes. James is definitely feeling better. Um, not really much of a headache today. Extra good. Thanks to Mark with the oil of oregano. Thanks to everyone who recommended getting the bee pollen. I mean, I feel like, you know, he's got uh, garlic wrapped around his neck, whatever, whatever he can do. So. I said, listen, I don't think you should go to the flower show. It's something that we always like to do with Hudson, but, you know, here he is, the, the shirt. So, listen, guys, I want to just show you a little debut, the shirt that I'm wearing, and I'm going to just try to hold it as far away as possible. This is a size small. This is, you know, it's unisex, and I'm wearing a size small, just to give you an idea. And you can see it's pretty long. I mean, it'll be better when James is here so he can show everything but anyway let's get started the reason we're here in union square is the macy's flower show actually started in the macy's in san francisco in union square in 1946 so i said what a better way to start our day than for me to rollerblade and i'm going to show you let me see if i can kick up my rollerblade there we go show you my rollerblade there's the other one. I'm going to rollerblade to Macy's. We're going to take via Broadway. Right now we're on Park Avenue South, but we're going to go to Broadway. And then we're going to roll, I'm going to rollerblade up Broadway to Macy's. I brought sneakers with me, Converse. And then we'll go inside Macy's and we'll see the flower show together. And it will be extra good. And James is watching safely from home, algae free, because I figured. Why on earth would he go where all this pollen of all these flowers are going to be? That would be silly. As he's feeling better today, why expose himself to a fresh set of God knows what pollen and whatever? Oh, let's roll a blade through here because it's a ramp. Even better. I like this. I like ramps. Oh, this little TV crew set up. Oh, no problem. And, um, Oh, by the way, guys, when you were seeing me, I didn't have my mask on because I was just saying hi and I was by myself, but I have my mask in my hand. Um, I'm not going to wear it while I'm rollerblading because I'd rather be breathing, but I have it for when I go inside, obviously, and everything. James, you need to hang in there. I have allergies, too. Um, it's no fun. Girl in the curl is saying, yeah, thanks. Oh, I'm, I'm going fast now. Downhill, as you can see. Oh, look at this. This is fun. Hey, Joe. We're in Union Square right now because... Yeah, I'm going to roll a blade of Macy's. Yes, Mark. Mark is actually the one who requested that we go to the flower show. Mark said, oh, I'd love to see the flower show. So, Mark, this is for you for helping James feel better with the oil of oregano and also for all the great toys that you got, Hudson. The, the bowl and the treats, he loves them. So, oh, Marilyn, thank you. 
So here we are at Union Square, because like I said, the first Macy's Flower Show in 1946 was actually in the Union Square Macy's in San Francisco. But we're going up to their flagship location, Herald Square. So here we are on Broadway. We're going to take, oh, you're so healthy, one Mark saying, yeah, you know, I love the rollerblading. It's a great exercise, and it's like, you know, low impact if you, if you have knee problems. I mean, the only thing is you have to have good balance, which I do, so that's not an issue. And the second thing is dealing with all the potholes, cracks in the sidewalk, navigating all the people, the traffic, that, you know, you don't get killed, basically. But I'm good at that. I started by skateboarding back in the day in the Bronx, and it was hilly in the Bronx. It wasn't like here, that's, you know, I mean, okay, there's little, little rolling uh, hill. See, you could see that, like you could see my step, I like, went on some gravel, you lose your, um, you lose your footing for a second. But look, this, they just paved this, they just paved Broadway, so it's like rollerblade heaven for me. It's nice and smooth and flat. So it's gonna be, we're gonna sail along. So listen, I can see the chats pretty well. If for some reason I miss a chat message, it's only because, you know, I do have to watch out for traffic. I am, you know, moving along here. Oh, Alexandra says, you will make a filming on the rollerblades too. Oh, cool, yeah. I definitely do more on rollerblading filming. In fact, you know, I could always borrow, I'll say borrow, Hudson's GoPro and attach it to me while I rollerblade as well. But I didn't bother doing that today because I figured, oh, such a nice day, let's just live stream. Why, um, why uh, you know, complicate things with extra stuff attached to me? And besides, that way you got to see my t-shirt and all. So here, I'll turn, oh, you know, skateboarding, now you break a leg. Listen, I broke my, I broke my ankle when I was younger, but that wasn't skateboarding. That was me trying to fly, as I call it. Basically, I jumped off a second story. So, you know, the two-story building. And I mean, I thought that I could land safely. Oh, here's the Empire State Building, guys. I just wanted to show you. But of course, I landed with one leg out, basically on my ankle, and I broke it. I mean, it was a stupid thing. You know, I did, st I was, um, I don't know. A daredevil. I was dared to do it. I was dared to jump off, um, you know, somebody's uh, balcony, uh, you know, from their second floor, and land on um, a mat. You know, like our friend had a like a lawn chair, and it had like a mat. So she put down the mat, and she's like, "Oh, that will be enough of padding. Just jump onto the padding." So I'm like, "Okay, yeah, that sounds good." Like, like an idiot, and of course I broke my ankle. And yeah, you know, I had fun with it though. I had a cast, I think I was in second grade, and they put like a walking cast on me now. Now I think they don't even bother with a cast. They have all sorts of modern things, but I had, you know, like the, the white cast, the native uh, plaster Paris, I guess. And oh, everybody rode on it. And then in school, everybody wanted me on their kickball team because I could kick the, the ball real hard with that cast on. I mean, I wasn't even supposed to play gym, but that's the kind of girl I was. I was like really active and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna play kickball anyway. So here we are. Um, I didn't get very far. I'm on Broadway 23rd Street. I wanna just show you because this is one of our favorite. Oh, you broke your ankle going down a flight of stairs a couple of months ago and been bedridden. Yes, Mark, you know what it is, is I don't think I would heal that fast anymore. You know, I was in second grade. I was, I was a young kid. So when you're young, you heal really fast. I mean, I think I was up and going in like four weeks, you know, and I couldn't wait to get that cast off. I was like picking at it, like making it, you know, less and less of a cast. Oh, the doctor was mad at me. He's like, no, you gotta leave it alone. But it was itchy and no, I hated it. But um, yeah, Mark, it took around about, I think I only had the cast on for like four weeks. So it was real, it healed quickly, but you have to remember, what was I, uh, seven years old, you know? Now, when you get older, unfortunately, it takes, oh, Scott saying kickball was so much fun. Yeah, that it was fun. It takes a lot longer to heal. You know, you're not as resilient. So anyway, here's the view. We're at Madison Square Park, and we're gonna just continue up Broadway. 
Oh, I got the light, so let me make it. And we're gonna go right to Macy's. So let me make it across the street. We're just passing the Flatiron Building. I'm gonna turn back around to show you the Flatiron Building, how it looks in a second. So let me, um, let me do that. I'll spin around. You can see my rollerblading finesse. Oh, I'm not even back far enough, but this is the Flatiron Building right in front of me. Oh, where's Kong? This is the Flatiron Building. Dead ahead, you can see there's the prow, but it's covered in scaffolding, so it doesn't look nearly as pretty as it, as it ordinarily could be. Yeah, let me go backwards. See, I can skate backwards, guys, but I don't really like to do that when I'm in the city, so because you don't know who could be behind you, so let me turn. Uh, oh, it seems like I'm on a scooter. Nope, definitely not a scooter. I'll show you again. Um, oh, here's some pretty flowers. I'm right by Italy. I'll show you. I'll put my rollerblade. Hold on. There we go. There's my rollerblade. One rollerblade. Flowers. Here's Italy, guys. And let's see if I'm back far enough now. Nope, still not back far enough. Let me go back even further to show you guys the Flatiron Building. I'm going to go right to here and then turn, turn myself around. Again, I'm in the bike lane now, so let me uh, be careful of bicyclists. Okay, good. Here we go. There it is. There's the Flatiron Building. Yeah, pretty, right? But it's been covered in scaffolding for a while. Oh, and that's the famous clock um, that's made the Fifth Avenue building. That was um, Tiffany, I think, uh, made that clock. Let me show you. Do you see the clock I'm talking about? This old clock. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there. That's the nice thing about rollerblades, you just whiz on over. Yeah, isn't that a pretty old clock? Oh, beautiful view. Oh, cool, I'm so glad I can share this with you guys. So let's continue our journey. Let's go up to Macy's, which is on, you know, 34th Street. So it's a quick, it's a quick journey, it really is. Let me go in the pedestrian plaza. That's nicer than having to battle the traffic. Yeah, um, what a treat today, April Singh. Yes, the Macy's Flower Show just opened on Sunday, and it's gonna be going on for two weeks. It'll be for two weeks, so I think it's till May 16th. I'm gonna go back on the sidewalk, is the last day. So if you happen to be planning to visit New York City, or if you are a listener already that lives in New York City, you have until May 16th to see it, and it's totally free. Like, it doesn't cost anything. It's totally free to go. And this year, they have some flowers in the outside plaza, too. So we're going to check that out. It's a beautiful day. As you see, I'm just wearing short sleeves. I got my Hudson Extra Good t-shirt, which hopefully will reach our 10K subscribers soon, and we'll have it in our store so that you guys can get it, too. Uh, let's see. Oops. I got to wait for the car. So what I usually do is I just, I go down a side street. I don't have to like, I don't stop. I just kind of like rollerblade a little bit down the side street. And then I don't even have to bother putting, putting on the brakes or anything. Yeah. So there's, this is, um, the uh, Madison Square, Gar Madison Square Park right here. And there's the view, some pretty buildings, life insurance buildings and whatnot. And yeah, there's the Flatiron building. Now you can see it from further away. But like, again, it's, it has the scaffolding, so it doesn't, doesn't look as pretty as it could. So, oh, you know, somehow I got myself on Fifth Avenue. I want to go to Broadway. Oops, sorry guys. We're gonna take Broadway up. We can always take Fifth Avenue back, but let's take Broadway up, because Broadway will lead us right to the flower show. So that's better. Oh. Out and about says, is that where Shake Shack is? Yeah, there is a Shake Shack um, right around here. As a matter of fact, um, it's in the park inside Madison Square Park, where I just came from. But we're not doing that today. We did our Shake Shack burger battle. You know, we got it from the Astor Place Shake Shack, but today is all about flowers, not food. Oh, but there could be edible flowers, so that's not true. You never know. 
oh, here's this great cha cha matcha. They have great matcha. In fact, we did a video like two years ago. This is called the Nomad um, neighborhood, north of Madison, short for north of Madison. And we got like a soft serve matcha. Uh, it was extra good. I'm going the wrong way, as you can see. Like, I'm in the bike lane, like sort of on the outskirts of the bike lane, but I'm going against traffic. But it's actually safer for me to be in the bike lane and see where they're coming into me than me being out in the street. So that's where I am now. But as you can see, it's not paved so nice here anymore. On Fifth Avenue, they had just redone the pavement, but this is all full of cracks and crevices, so I can't go nearly as fast. I can't get my gliding motion. Let me slow down. All right, it looks like I can make it across. That's the nice thing about on rollerblades. It's like technically you're not like a bicycle. You don't really, you know, have to stop for lights. Like you won't get a ticket, I guess. Um, you're not considered a mo mo moving vehicle. Oh, hey, Contessa. Oh, yeah, James and Hudson are watching from home because James still has his allergies. I didn't want him to go out and expose himself to all the pollen that we're gonna be in the midst of once we get to Macy's and the flower show. I'm like, no, he's doing better today, thanks to Mark with giving him the oil of oregano. People suggested the bee pollen. Um, let's see, garlic, uh, uh, what was the other thing that he, uh, that we made like a little infuser of tea with um, ginger, ginger root. Oh, I should join the roller derby, oh. You know, the roller derby, the girls are aggressive. They push each other and stuff. I mean, I don't like that. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm too sweet. I'm not aggressive enough for the roller derby. I mean, I could easily do it. I am a good rollerblader and roller skater for that matter. Oh, look at that, I like this food truck. Check this out, Uncle Wins. Look at that graphic, isn't it cool? I really like the painting on that. <laughs> Extra good. All right, so we're getting near Macy's, guys. Thanks for joining, if you're just joining in. We're on our way to Macy's Herald Square to see the flower show, the 2021 flower show. We're almost there, we're rollerblading along. Wow, there's a lot of people out and about today. It's a really nice day. It's like 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, a little humid, a little humid. How many flowers are locally grown? EW, that is a great question. I think a lot of the flowers are international. So I really don't know the answer to that question, but maybe there'll be, you know, like a, a, a placard or something that says that. Oh, wow, I see some of the flowers already. All right, I gotta stay right here because we gotta start crossing over. So, wait a minute, you know what? Let me go in this pedestrian plaza and then we'll approach. I can show you Macy's from across the street, like the whole, the whole nine yards. All right, I'm running out of my pedestrian plaza. And here we are. Wow, yeah, they see the, the, the plaza outside they have all decorated. And you can see all the pink flowers over there too. Oh, got the guy directing traffic, extra good. Wow, look at this, guys. This is so pretty. I'm gonna stay right here for a second, show you the whole scene. So we're in the corner of Broadway and 34th Street now. And this is the Macy's flagship store. I'll go up to the top. There it is, world's largest department store. You got it, and we're here for their annual flower show, which not only is inside, but outside as well this year. So it says, pedestrians can cross. We got the go. So let's check out this outdoor area first. Um, it's a little crowded here, so let me um, make sure I got my mask on secure. This is the main entrance for the flower show. It's in the Broadway entrance, but we're gonna go through this little flower area. So hold on guys, I gotta 
Put my mask on. Okay. And we're gonna go through this little, the plaza to check that out. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm rollerblading holding the gimbal. I'm, you know, I have good balance. That's from being, a, you know, I used to do gymnastics when I was younger. So balance isn't a problem for me. My specialty was actually the balance beam. But then you know what happened is I got too tall. No gymnast is tall. I'm five foot nine. Usually gymnasts are shorter because you have a lower center of gravity and it's easier to do the tricks. Once I got tall, uh, you know, gymnastics not so much anymore. But, you know, I still retain that good sense of balance. Yeah, so this looks really pretty. Look at these butterflies. I gotta be careful because see, there's, um, let me show you on the ground. Not good for rollerblading metal grates so hold on let me show you i gotta walk on the metal grates i really can't rollerblade on them too well metal grates don't take too kindly to rollerblade wheels but here's the uh this looks really pretty the butterflies look at that oh wow extra good i want to show you all the details look how pretty this is Oh, look, they even have, I don't know if this, if this shows you, see, there's a little like something where you can do, you know, a QR thing. Maybe it tells you about what flowers are in here. I'll, I'll, I'll get that on the screen. If anybody wants to do that at home, you, you can let me know if that tells us what kind of flowers are in here. Oh, hey, Marion. Oh, wow. Look, guys. Oh, they surprised me. Do you see? He's ringing the bell. Huh. Oh, man. I mean, this statue that actually, they actually ring the bell. I mean, I didn't even know that that worked. I mean, all the times I've been here in this plaza and at Macy's, I've never actually heard it work. Maybe that just was restored. I'm going to look into that for you guys. So here's the whole scene. Look at that. It's so pretty. Extra good. So let's kind of... um. Look around here. Here's another really pretty archway. Okay, I got one foot on the grate, one foot not on the grate. Let me uh, spin around, show you more of the situation here. Oh, wow. That looks so pretty. Yeah, what a work of art. Paul, you, I think so. Oh, look at this one. I love this one. Look at this. Look how they shape this one. Oh, it's either you could say it's an animal, like some sort of insect, or you could say it's an airplane. Which which you vote for, guys? Would you would you call this an insect or an airplane? I, I mean, I'm going with insect. I'm going, and Bon Bon says airplane. Either way, right? And then look at this one. This one's definitely a butterfly. Do you see that one? This is definitely a butterfly. A moth, a dragonfly. Oh, yeah, that could be a dragonfly. Look, guys. Yeah, that looks less like an airplane now that you see it from this angle. I'm going with you with dragonfly. 
Let me show you more. This is fun. This is so pretty what they did. Another one of these could be the shape of a butterfly. That other one is definitely a butterfly. Like this one, this one's for sure a butterfly. Good shape butterfly. So let me show you. These are all, you know, these aren't, these aren't real guys. These are fake flowers. I didn't realize this is fake outside here. This is not real. These are real. This is real. But this is just for show. All silk and, and fake flowers. So just in case you were wondering. It, it looked good from afar, but once I got up on top of it, I was like, oh, wait a minute, guys. This isn't real. All right, so let's take in the whole scene. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my rollerblades and, um, you know, we'll show you everything. So here we are. Okay, so I found a good spot to sit on. I think I'm going to sit right here on this rock. So that way we can look at the windows and I don't have to be with my rollerblades. So. So hold on, guys, as I get out my sneakers and sneakers, take off my rollerblade so we can go look at the window and not the rollerblades. All right, so give me a second. Sorry, guys, because I'm not an octopus. I only have the two hands. Hold on. I got one rollerblade off, one sneaker on. I'm getting the other one. Ugh. Okay, reaching in the bag, getting the other rollerblade. Hey, Aideen, um, M. We're at Macy's Herald Square for the flower show. I just got here. Oh, hi, Joan Bimba. I'm taking off my rollerblades. I rollerbladed from Union Square. And I'm putting on my um, Converse that I brought with me. So give me a second because I'm trying to tie my shoelace with one hand, which isn't, it's not as easy as you think. In fact, I probably should have brought sneakers that didn't even have, um, you know, a shoelace, but oh well, I can always have untied shoelaces. That's the worst of the situation. So I'm putting my rollerblades. I have a rollerblade bag. I'm going to show you the situation here. See, I have a bag specifically made for rollerblades. So I shove them in there. Hold on, I'm spinning you around. Sorry for all the spinning, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing with one hand. And now I'm going to attempt to kind of, um, yeah, now I, uh, I can appreciate people that only have one hand and that's not easy to tie, uh, tie a shoe. Yeah, not easy at all. Very, very difficult actually. Hold on, I got it sort of tied. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the gimbal up over here and then I can hold the gimbal and tie my shoe at the same time. Well, I can try anyway. All right, that's good enough. I got my shoes on good enough. Are they tied tightly? No, but I don't care. So let me get this back on my back. And here we go. Wow, we got a TV crew. See, as you can see here, you can stand here. You bloom where you plant it. And then you can get like a selfie. Oh, I'll, have, I'll definitely have to do that. Oh, this is pretty. We'll wait our turn. Oh, hi, Jessica. I'll do a selfie here. I'll get ready.
Oh, now she's gonna get a she's gonna get a selfie. It's a there's a line for the selfies, as you can imagine. But they have a friend to do it. I have to do it in selfie mode. Yeah, I am winging it. I never, you know, now I can appreciate how how nice it is to have jeans. So here we go. I'm gonna switch it to selfie mode. All right, here we are, guys. So this is a this is the best I could do. My arms are not that. <laughs> I got my wings. <laughs> Good, okay, guys. <sighs> so look at this. Here's the scene. Oh, it looks really pretty. Oh, oh me and Hudson miss you. Oh, thank you, James. I'm doing my best, James. I can't untie my shoelaces. You don't realize how difficult it is to do things with one hand. So let me go right up to the window. I want to show you guys the details. See, now these are real flowers. Now, I think that the temperature I read online is kept at like, um, you know, a constant temperature. So the, the flowers stay for the whole two weeks that this is going on. Look how gorgeous they are. Wow, look, they even spray painted some gold. Do you see that? Oh man, this is so beautiful. James and I will have to come back, or at least I can if James isn't feeling well, to photograph all those windows. Yeah, next time wear slip on shoes. No, I got my I got my Converse on, but as you can see, I didn't fully tie them. I mean, I, I didn't, you know, like I'm I'm really appreciating people that don't have um, full use of two hands. You don't realize how much you need two hands to do. Oh wow, look at this. Immerse yourself in spring, bloom where you are planted. Look at that dress, guys. Do you see that? I'm trying to. Sh Can you see that? There's a lot of reflections of a... Uh... Extra good, right? Isn't that the prettiest? I like this window a lot. Yeah, this does look really pretty. And then these, just like I showed you before, these are, the, these are not real. These are the fake flowers, but they look pretty too. So let's look at the other windows. Oh, and look, more topiary stuff. Here's a star. Oh, and there's another butterfly over here. There's another butterfly. And then, oh, look, a flower. This one's really pretty. Yeah, this, I like this flower. So pretty. So, okay, let's go back. Look at me, I get so sidetracked. Oh my God, this window is stunning, guys. Oh, absolutely stunning with the butterfly dress. Wait, I gotta get close so I can show you. Oops. Can you, I'm, I'm trying to hold it. Yeah, now you can see it, right guys? Look how pretty that is. Yeah, James isn't here because he's suffering from allergies. So I didn't want to expose him to all the pollen that, I mean, right now I'm outside, so. I mean, there's probably pollen in the air too, but wait till we go inside and then you're right up against the flowers. Here's, uh, I'm trying to sh get it so there's no reflections. Hey, Bon Bon, hey everybody. Look how pretty, all oh, the butterflies. Diana Ross, yeah, exactly, Paul, you got it. Let's go back to Diana. That's definitely channeling Diana Ross, you're absolutely right. Oops, no, sorry about that. Let me show you, let me show you her face. There we go. There we go. Oh, Ideen says she subscribed. Thank you, Ideen, for subscribing. We're trying to reach 10K subscribers so we can add Hudson merchandise. In fact, in fact, I am wearing a Hudson merchandise right now. I'll show you in a minute, but there's no one at this window. So I'm going back to this window to try to show you without the reflection. There we go. This is this mannequin. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Dutch Mash just walked past you? I didn't see him. Oh, where'd he go? I didn't see him at all. Oh, I must have been so absorbed into the flowers that I didn't see him. So let me show you here. Let me show you the scene. So here's the t-shirt. So I got Hudson and Spirit. 
Hudson NYC, at James and Carla YouTube, and then look, extra good. This is designed by Julio Baltar, who's from um, South America, from Uruguay to be exact. And he designed this t-shirt and another t-shirt. I, I mean, there's actually, I got another design that I haven't even debuted yet. He is so sweet to do these uh, for us. And look, this window says love. I didn't notice that before because I was so close. Now that I back away, oh, that's extra good. Yeah, I just sat down and I took off my rollerblades because I have a special rollerblade like bag that the rollerblades fit into and then I can just change. Yeah, I just totally didn't see Dutch Maz. I'm still looking for him. Maybe he went inside Macy's. So let me check out this window because I didn't see this one. Oh, this one says hope. Oh, that's so pretty. Hope. Oh, can you see that, guys, that it says hope? That's the message. Every year, the Macy's Flower Show has a message. And this year, the message is all about, like, hope and love and just, like, you know, being a brighter year than last year, you know, in general. Let's, let's show you this one. It's like a butterfly garden in here. Do you see that? I'm trying to show you. Not the reflection. Oh, you, Julio, yeah, doesn't this sure look great? And it's great quality, guys. It's 100% cotton. I'm wearing a size small. It's a unisex shirt. So it's, it's for men, women. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the size small on Hudson. He might need a medium. They don't have, um, they don't offer dog clothes, but I think I can find another company that maybe we can offer some, some dog clothes. It'll actually be more expensive than the human being clothes, believe it or not. Dog clothes, it's a specialty item, so they charge more for it. So yeah, just to recap the windows outside. These are the, only the windows that face Broadway, here's the love, are the ones that say things. So I don't have to go around the whole perimeter of the place because it's only the Broadway locations. And then of course, this is where I did my selfie. You know, I did the best I could. So I'm gonna try to tie my shoelaces a little bit better. I'm gonna actually try to find somebody that maybe can, can help me. That doesn't look uh, so confused. That maybe be able to help me just so I can tie my shoelaces. Here, these, these people look friendly. Excuse me, can I trouble you for a second? You know, I have, um, I had rollerblades on, I had to put my sneakers on. Would you mind holding this for a second so I can tie my shoe? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Because I want to go inside, but I don't want to trip. And, uh, yeah. You don't realize what you, you can't tie your shoe with one hand. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I just do it fast. It doesn't matter if it's sloppy, as long as it stays together. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, so, listen, I, I, found, I found two women sitting outside and I said, would you mind holding my gimbal so I can tie my shoe? So now I won't trip and fall. So I wanna show you the Macy's plaque. So this little plaque on the ground here marks the centennial of the Herald Square building, world's largest store. Founded in 1858 on 14th Street, Macy's pioneered the move of the retail trade to the Hellard Square area with the opening of this building in 1902. Designed by Delimo and Cordes, I guess it's Cordes, it's lauded by critics as one of the architectural jewels of turn of the century New York. But, that's all extra good, but the flower show did not start here. The flower show actually started in Union Square in San Francisco. So I'm gonna go inside now. I'm gonna go in this main door. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. Oh. Oh, hi, Nancy. Watch, watching later, but wanted to say hi. Thank you, Nancy. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, I'm going to take the wooden elevators. You know it, Paul. Myrna, isn't this extra gorgeous? So gorgeous. Look at that. 
So this is the main entrance to get into the flower show. So here it is, guys. Stunning. Extra, extra good. So listen, there's, there's music playing, and I'm just going to keep on talking like I always do over the music, guys. You, you know how I do. You know me by now. So all these are real flowers. Oh, this is an orchid. See this purple? That's definitely an orchid. I'm not, like, I'm not a horticulturist. I don't know like all the names of flowers, but I do know that these are orchids because when, oh, and here's, um, that's a uh, cherry blossom right here. But these are definitely orchids. Yeah, so I think these are, you know, diverse flowers. Like, I don't think they're just local flowers. And now I turn myself around so you can see the Broadway entrance again, even above the doorway. So you gotta always look up. They have above the doorway too. The revolving doors on the Broadway entrance. Extra good, right? Yeah, this is where talking loud is extra good. You're absolutely right. That's not a problem. You know me. Talking loud, no problemo. All right, let me get the gimbal straight. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna just walk straight down the center and we're gonna stop wherever I see something pretty like this. Look at that. Oh man, I just gotta stop right here so you can take it all in. Look at that big, big, big butterfly. Extra good. Oh my God, I love it. Oh my God. And they're all flowers, guys. Here, I'm gonna back up because like now there's nobody here right now. So then you can really appreciate it. Oh my God, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look, look at the detail. Look, these are roses. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm right underneath the bumblebee, the center. Yeah, isn't that cool? Oh, and there's some lilies. I see pink lilies, see that? Yeah, God, God knows how much money goes into the decorations. A lot, I'm sure. Macy's is closing down um, their store. Um, which one is that, Patrick? Where, is that the one, is that the one by you? I mean, this is their flagship store, so you know they're not closing this down. Look at this, by the escalators. Let me show you this, guys. I'm just taking my time. I want to show you every little installation there is. I love this right here. And then even as you take the different escalators up and down, there's, there's just flowers everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Everywhere you can see. This one's really, this is, I think this is stunning. Extra good. Ah. There we go. Oh man, so pretty. I'm just sweeping around. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, thank you Oscar Diaz for the $7. Thank you guys for the nice trip in Macy's and hugs, hugs to the HUD. Yeah, HUD's is staying home with James to keep him company because James's allergies are still, you know, he's getting better. Thank you for all the well wishes. He's definitely on the mend, but there, there made no point being that he's feeling better to expose him to all this pollen that we're probably breathing in right now. You know, it doesn't bother me in the slightest bit. I love flowers. I mean, we come here every year. We always see the flower show because I love flowers so much. And it's like, it makes you feel like you have a garden. Because, you know, James and I, we live in, in the East Village and we live in an apartment. We don't have a garden. I can't, I don't have flowers. Uh, you know, this is, as, this is as close to as I get as a flower garden, except to go to the botanical garden, which is also very pretty. So this is, this, this is a scene. So stunning. So, oh my God, it's just, the flowers are everywhere on the first floor, guys. On like aligning every pillar, there's installations. 
So let's keep on walking. Oh, and it smells so pretty in here because we're in the makeup section in the perfume area. I feel like, oh my God, I can just spray myself with some perfume. I probably should after rollerblading up here. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, I got to get right underneath it. This is what I'm going to do. Look what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm, getting, I'm on the floor now. Look at that. Isn't it good? You like that view? Here we go. Yeah, isn't that breathtaking? All right, I'm coming down. I'm going to stand up slowly now. People probably think, God, this girl, she's crazy for the flowers. And I am. I am. I'm cuckoo for the flowers. There it is. Oh, thank you, Cecilia, for sending James healing love. Oh, thank you, Marion, for the um, $4.99 pounds. Take Hudson a treat back with you in exchange for one of those extra good huds. You know I'm going to get to bring them back a treat. You know I am. I definitely will. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marion. Oh, my God. I'm just everywhere I look. I'm just I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Yeah, James is watching. I saw him in the chat before. Oh, Luna for the super sticker. Look at the little foxy with his big Canadian $2 with his big grin. That foxy looks like Hudson's big grin, right? Oh, Yves Saint Laurent, black opium. Oh, here, here's one of my favorite perfumes. Let's see, let's see if they have a Dior. Then I could spray myself with some Dior attic. And maybe I'll, some, I'll, I'll be smelling a little better. Let's see if I can find it. I see Miss Dior. J'adore Dior. Oh, I don't even see the attic. I mean, it's a... Huh. Yeah, I don't even know. They're pushing other things now. Oh, it's probably over here. They got, they got things everywhere. Well, we'll try something else. We'll try something. We'll try some, something, something else to make me smell nice as we check out the flowers. Look at this, guys. How about black opium? That sounds good. Black opium. Do not touch. You know, you can't touch anything. You'd have to get sprayed by someone. You know, that's the part of the thing now is uh, you have to ask to be sprayed. You know, you're not just getting sprayed by strangers as you come in anymore. You know, that was pre-coronavirus. Pre, pre oh, Oscar saying, I, well, my wife and I enjoy your walks and your sincerity, we love Hudson. Oh, Myrna saying she can't get over the flowers, yeah. Let's keep on going. I got sidetracked in the perfume. I was like, um, it, brought, it brought me in. But then I realized I don't really want to bother anybody spraying me with perfume because they don't want you touching anything. And that makes sense. You know. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a definitely like a dragonfly. So I bet you're right that that was a dragonfly outside in the topiary as well. That's so pretty. And then look at up here, even the feathers. Do you see the feathers, guys? They got some feathers. Okay, hold on. I was trying to get the gimbal more, more flowers. Basically, everywhere you look as you go out, go through the, the first floor. You know what? I, I think I'm going to get an overview. I think I should go upstairs, and then I could look from here to show you guys the overview. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like an extra, extra. Oh, my God, I'm so glad I came up here. There's more flower displays up here as well. Oh, oh my God, look at this, guys. Oh, look, and they have a designer spotlight series. Get to know the talented local florists we invited to showcase the creative designs. <gasps> wow. Petals by Donnie, Danny, a New York State-based boutique. Polycarp Flowers, Flower Bodega, Brooklyn Blooms, and Park Delicatessen. Wow, she owns Park Adelphi Kiss in Brooklyn, where she sells flowers, skateboards, Park Deli Grill. I know, we know Park Deli. We've taken a photo of that. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, my God. 
so look at these. So th these are local florists that made these special designs. This is stunning, guys. Look at that. I mean, this is, to me, this is one of my favorites because this is a kaleidoscope of color. <gasps> bon Bon, thank you, Carla, for being there today. Get James and Hudson some ice cream. Ooh, that sounds good. That'll actually probably be really good for James to have some cooling ice cream in his throat. And of course, Hudson will love it too. And do you see the birdies too? You see the little birdies? Oh my God, this is my favorite. This, so this is Petals by Danny. New York City based floral design studio. So, oh my God, this is one of my favorite. I'm so glad I came up here. I said, you know what? Let me come up here just to see the view from up here, not realizing that there was a whole display as well here. A floral celebration of fortitude. Oh my God, so there's more um, orchids, lots of orchids, I recognize that. I'm not sure what everything is. Like I said, I'm not like a, a floral, you know, horticulturist, but I, I, you know, I appreciate it. So let me show you the overview because that's why I came upstairs to show you. Look, look at how stunning it looks, guys. And I'm trying to get, there we go. That is the best view. That's the money shot, as I like to say. If I had my real camera with me, which I don't, because I was like, how can I live stream and the camera and, you know, all that at the same time. This is the photo that I would take. So let me walk around here. I'm into actually the Barbie section. I didn't even know they had a Barbie section. And there's more displays up here. Please never, clo never close and move me, Cish, yes. Oh, Oscar Diaz, um, James, oh, James must be thanking him. Oh, I must have missed that, hold on. Um, James, help me with this, um, with the top chat. I might, be, I might have missed some things. Uh, I hope not, I'm trying to read all the messages. Alfred Clues. Oh, Patrick Richard said, Car oh, Carla just won an Oscar for the best of show. Oh. I'm Myrna, I got that, Did I? and I got Marion. I think I'm, I got everybody. I, th I think, yes, Oscar Diaz, I definitely thanked. Okay, I think I, I think I got everybody. Okay, good. Bon Bon, oh, James, I know how you feel. Okay, good, you're on that. James is helping me with the chat. Oh, look, flowering almond shrub, originally from Asia. This shrub is a close cousin of the nut almond tree, but is grown primarily for its flowers. Oh, that's extra good to know. The nut almond tree, flowering almond shrub. Wow. Oh, I like that. I like that they put that little tag. That's what I was saying that I hope they did. Extra good. So let me give you the overview. Here, so now you can see down, you can see through here. That looks pretty, right guys? Oh, I found one of, um, this is one of our favorite games. James and I love playing Scrabble. <laughs> and look at this, there's another little, and look at this one they have specially enclosed in glass. So maybe these are very special flowers inside this display that they have to keep at a special humidity. Oh, I see a bird of paradise. Do you see that, guys? This is enclosed in glass. So this one is a special little up in the special little upstairs area. There's this little glass, basically like, like a terrarium. So I'm not going to go downstairs yet because there's more to see. But I just want to show you the scoop, to show you the scene. I didn't. It's really extensive. So I'm in the game department here. Let me walk around here. Oh, look, this is, look at what I was talking about, playing kickball. Like how I was telling you when I had my broken ankle and I played kickball, look what I just found, a kickball. Too funny. So I found another little, um, like a little glass enclosure over here. So I wanted to show you the flowers. Oh, look at this. Circus Covey twist, also known as red bud. Its flowers grow directly on the bark of its branches. Oh, 
Wow. Wow, that's really cool. Wow. So let me show you this one. Oh, this is so pretty. Extra good. Wow, you know, I, I went and looked on the internet to get a sense of what this looked like this year, and they didn't even have half of this stuff that I'm showing you. They did a poor job, actually. They, 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 need, they need to hire me. Oh, there's the wooden escalators, guys. We'll both, I'm going to show you that in a minute. We'll take the wooden escalator. But those are the original, original wooden escalators from when the, first, the, first, the store first opened. Can you see those from here? Aren't those cool? We'll definitely take those, OK, guys? But let's find more of these floral displays upstairs, because this is fun, because a lot of people, are, they, don't even, they don't even come upstairs. Uh, I'm on the, you know, I got, I got everything for you guys. I got you. I got you upstairs. I got your secret spots. Oh, the red bud is Noche. Ooh. Okay. I got that. I got everything. Oh, look. New York City. Little pug. But it looks sad. It's not like Hudson's face. Look, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to make an advertisement here for, for the James and Carla merch, okay? Because... Here we go. Okay, here's, I'm gonna put my bag down. Here's Hudson merch, smiling boy. Here's what Macy's is selling, sad pug. No, 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 we don't want sad. We want smiling face, Hudson NYC. And we're gonna have this, this in black too. We're gonna have this t-shirt in black. I got the white because, um, you know, it's getting warmer in New York. And it's tough to wear black when it's warm. So I said, you know what, I'll get the white as a, but we'll offer it in black as well. Oh, Julio. Oh, let me uh, turn the camera back around. Julio did both for us. He, he got us covered. You want your black shirt, you got it. You want your, you want your white shirt, you got it. Oh, hi, Jack Rab. So here's more close-ups. Look, I can get right on top of these upper level flowers. This is extra good. I'm, I'm loving it. Let your dreams take flight through the beautiful gardens of inspiration. See, these are all positive messages this year. Everything's about positivity. And you know, that's our whole channel. Our whole channel is about being positive, chin up, chest out, stay positive, Oh, are well, you liking the close-ups, Myrna? Okay, I'm, I'm back on you. I got you. You know, as a photographer, I'm always, I got everything. I got your close-ups. I got your overviews. You asked for it, you got it. I accept um, requests. <laughs> I'm like the DJ. I'm like a DJ here, accepting requests. I gotta keep on talking. Oh, wait, here's another. Ooh. Jonathan, exactly, Carl, you're right. I like the flowers are, that are positive. Get rid of the negative. Yes, look, at Amethyst Falls Wisteria. This beloved flowering vine can grow up to 100 feet long. Oh my God. And look at this. After the darkness, we look up to the sunlight and flourish again. Oh, that's so sweet. See, I love these messages of positivity. Extra good. Thank you, Macy's, for these messages of positivity. Here's red anthuriums. Another name for this beautiful flower is flamingo lily. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm not touching. I just get really close with the camera. Let your dreams take flight throughout the beautiful gardens of inspiration. This is the Wigelia wine and roses, one in flower. This colorful shrub is a favorite of butterflies and hummingbirds. Wow, does anybody have hummingbirds in their garden? Oh, Cecilia saying she loves a t-shirt design. Cecilia, we're waiting for that 10K. As soon as we hit the 10K, we're, we're, the merch will be for sale. 
Oh, look at this. Look, she has a flower. Oh, look at she's got it on her head. Oh, so they're doing a little, um, I guess they do a makeover right here. So that's. So that's it. I, I, I showed you from the upstairs. Let's go back downstairs. Circle in some areas that we probably didn't see because I only went on, you know, partly. So that was extra good so far. Let me show you all. Oh, look at these baskets. These smaller ones. This is very pretty. There we go. Extra good. More. Look how pretty. I like this. This is so pretty. I like how they do the pillars. Everything is so beautiful, guys. The pillars. Yes, everything is opening up in New York again. Very soon, it will be 100% open. Oh, Tresor perfume. Yes, I smell that. I mean, my favorite. I'll see if we can walk, if they have it. I can ask for it. One of my favorites is Dior Addict. But I didn't see it out. But we're, we're going by there again anyway. Hello. This is Mark Chico's. Oh, look at this. This is so pretty. More. See, along every pedestal, they line up the flowers. It's so pretty, guys. have the um, Dior addict anymore? Oh, she does. She has it back behind there. She might. <laughs> ah, she, she said she might. See, it's an older, um, it's an older perfume. Oh, that's it. Yeah, see, that's, I love the smell of that. It's like, um, I don't know what you could say, uh, musky, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What would be like the, the newer one that would, since that's an older... Yeah, people are buying it because we're selling them out very well. What's, uh, what's the closest that, that that would come to it now? Sorry, but I'm going to show you. Okay, she's going to show me the new jo the joy. And this, but it's, it's not the same. It's not, right? Yeah. Oh. It's a unique fragrance. Yeah. Not, not that those are like I like the attic better. better. Yeah. yeah, see, she tried the, the joy. It's good to try it, to know. Thank you. But she ha it's good. I mean, I don't know. I'm a creature of habit because Mark asked me what my favorite perfume is. That's my favorite perfume. They've been making it for a long time, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not flowery. It's very, um, it's, it's more musky. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, as we saw from upstairs, one of my favorite, favorite is the wooden staircase. So I'm going to go to the wooden staircase now. Oh, but first I want to show more of the details of this one. Look at this. There's like blueberries. Oh, they probably have every perfume here. It's such a huge perfume. Somebody's asking, do they have Arpez? I'm sure they've got everything. Hold on, I'm going to show you here. Yeah, I don't really, I, she sprayed it on a card for me. I really don't care for it. It's too, um, I don't know. It's, oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at that, guys. I love that, uh, the colors, it just, it makes you just so happy. Okay, here comes the wooden staircases. Extra good. First, I'm going to show you as they come up. Do you see that, guys? Look at the handrails. B5. 
Can you hear the noise they make? Oh, um, Jonathan said, do they have a specialty dining um, in there? There's a Starbucks. I just went past it. That was upstairs. They used to have, um, they have dining on the lower level. I'm going to go there. You can still buy out of Carla. Yes, you can. She had a bottle. She was going to sell it to me, but I don't need it right now. I have enough still at home. Like I had, we have a small apartment, so I don't need, um, I don't like to keep extras of anything because I don't have the storage space. So here we're going to go take B4. Here we go. Wooden escalator. There's my foot, my converse. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Wooden escalator, guys. And even the old grate when you come off of it. So let me show you. I'm spinning around. Look at that, guys. Yeah, aren't the wooden escalators fabulous? My favorite, too. I could just look at it forever. Oh, look, they have the big piano, guys. Oh, like Tom Hanks, you know? <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. So you can hear it. Do you hear the... I'm going to get close. Do you hear it squeaking? Oh, I'll go, I'll go back upstairs for you, Mark. Mark wants to get out. Look, think of how many people have taken this wooden escalator. You're absolutely right. So let's go up it. Here we go. I could just ride it up and down forever. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, I went downstairs, so that's maybe for, why for the signal, but I'm back upstairs now. We're going to go upstairs, upstairs to go um, show you the overview so uh, Mark can get a screenshot. Mark is uh, asking for a screenshot, and I got you. Don't you worry. I'm on it, Mark. Look at this. Have the best hair day ever. Trust me, I'm not having the best hair day ever. It's super humid out. And I don't feel like I'm having the best hair day, but that's okay. So let me go get going upstairs. I'm gonna show you your upstairs overviews. Don't worry, I got you, Mark. Yeah, it's made of wood, um, uh, Bonnie Bodine. The, those are the original wooden escalators. Mark, is this the... The, the, the screenshot you want, and I'm going to stay here for a second, and then I'm going to also take, I'll go in the middle. But I'm going to show you here first. Oh, I'm on a shopping spree. I'm on a, I'm on a flower spree, Ronald. Oh, and you know what? I didn't catch this before. We didn't get over here. So I'm glad. Look at this, the Sinclair. Look at him. He, oh. Golden butterflies perched on Sinclair's oil's gleaming green dino. A beloved mascot. Oh, this is Satisus woodbine orange. Originating in Africa, the shrub is also known as Scotch broom. Can you see that, guys? Oh, wow, I'm glad we came up here. Look at that, give. Yeah, so I didn't. I missed this little area, so I'm glad that I came back up. This is really pretty. Wow. Look at, I know. We wish we didn't have to wear the mask. It would smell even better, right? <sighs> yeah, definitely this is not a place that James should be right now because... Who knows how much pollen there is everywhere, but it sure is beautiful. Macy's flower shows. Yeah, look at these lilies. Extra good. Here, we'll go back to Sinclair. I like him too. We'll get an overview of him. He's got even a butterfly on his tail. 
And look at these sweet flowers. Oh, look at that. They got a cactus in there too. The Sinclair Dino. Yeah, he was in the Macy's um, parade too. Look at all these. Pine pollen is a great natural pre-workout. Oh, well, that's good to know. Break out in hives. Oh, this is an azalea. Yeah, that I knew this is an azalea bush. That I recognize. Exbury azaleas, famous for their unusual colors. They came to Macy's from the flower show from Oregon. Oh, wow. Anybody from Oregon watching right now? We got Oregon in the house. Let me show. This is for Mark again. I got another overview. Here's the drop dead center. Looking this way. Ask to try a uh, trace sore. Um, yeah, I can, I can do that. I think I've, I've tried that in the past. You know, I don't like very flowery things for perfume. I like more musky things. And if I remember, trace sore is very, um, per, you know, very floral like. I like to look at the flowers, but I don't like to smell like a flower. Oh, this is the Kalahari Resorts. I guess they paid for this. This is Orna, Ornithogalum, also known as Sunstar. It's a plant, it's commonly a cut flower. Yes, yes, I saw that. There's apps, yes. Yeah, see, here's the app. There it is. In, in case you guys want to take a screenshot, I'm going to get this for you. It will tell you what these are. Oh, see, there's these messages, nice messages. Believe in a brighter tomorrow. Pick a flower and help us create a floral collage of hopes for the future. Place your flower sticker on the Believe display. Snap a selfie and share it. Um, on social media, harmony, empowerment, courage, prosperity, inclusive. Oh, and the little girl's doing it. Oh, that's so sweet. Patchouli and Egyptian musk are my favorites. Yeah, I like patchouli. I, I, I do. Oh, so, you know what? Let's go. Let's do one, okay? Let's do um, harmony. I like harmony. So let's get a harmony. See, this one's harmony. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna stick one on for you guys for harmony, okay? Let's do it on the L for love because we love Hudson, we love James. Harmony. There we are. <laughs> it is a great marketing idea, right? So here's another, Mark, um, did you get your screenshot? Let me know. <laughs> Marta says, I'm totally um, stealing it. Oh, you do love harmony. There's more. Oh, hashtag love this. Yeah, I love it too. Look, and here we are, love. We got it. We got you. Love. You know what? Let's do a selfie here. This will be great. Here we gotta, we're gonna go get right here, guys. Love. I love Hudson. I love James. Even though they can't be here, we got love. Oh, Carlos, hello from San Francisco. I was just saying that we started the live stream in Union Square because the very first Macy's Flower Show in 1946 was actually in, in um, Union Square in San Francisco. Oh, Rebecca uh -uh, is in San Francisco as well. Oh, oh, that's a pretty one. Yeah, because it's like the outside. See, there's another butterfly thing. Look how pretty. Oh, Mark says, what about prosperity? Yeah, but we don't want to be greedy. We got it. I just did one. I don't want to be greedy with the stickers. But we like prosperity too. But to me, that's not as important. You know, to be honest, I, as long as I have James and Hudson, I, 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 I'm happy. You know, I don't need money. 
I mean, money is, is nice, helpful, but that's not what makes me happy. What makes me happy is just uh, having a loving family, having good friends like we've made, you know, through YouTube. To, I mean, I, I'm being perfectly honest here. That's what makes me happy. Just uh, being positive and spreading love. This is so pretty. Look at this, Yao Wen Chen, fashion design competition. Wow. No, fragrance doesn't upset Hudson. Hudson loves everything. You got it? Yes. Okay, I didn't want to walk in front of her. I'm very sensitive to that. As a photographer, you know, when you're trying to get a picture and then somebody walks in front of you, it's annoying. So I'm always, if I see somebody trying to take a picture, go out of my way not to get in their photo because, you know, I respect that. <laughs> oh, see, they're giving the thumbs up. They <laughs> I mean, like some people, they just don't notice, you know, like they're in the world of their own and they don't, they don't care. So here's another design. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow, I'm glad I came over to this corner because I didn't even see this before. I'm gonna go through here, cut through the handbags to get to the next one so I'm not in the way of anybody else. Look at that. Oh, that one's really, she's really, that's a big, she's got like a big petal. Her chest is a flower. And even the whole bottom, it's like, it's like petals. It's really pretty. Fatima, that's a designer, Fatima Ergola. We are like petals of a flower, different sizes and shapes that all share a connection. Oh, that's so pretty. And then that, that's her sketch. Nobody loves me, I think I'll go and eat worms. Oh, Marion's, no, no, no. You are well loved, trust me. So let me, I don't know what that was. I hope that wasn't me. Did I do that? I'm not really sure, I hope not. Bright, colorful spring flowers play beautiful music of hope. See, now I'm getting closer, so I wanted to show you this. So pretty. I don't know if that was my bag hit something, but I'm not sure. So this is the atmosphere spring, beautiful and dreamy, makes people feel better. It looks like a shower curtain. Well, you know, to each his own, right? Sounds like a home run. All right, so let's, I think we should check that area out. I'm getting all the, uh, I'm ticking off all the areas. Yeah, I don't think that that's a little dress area. I think I covered it all, guys. I'm just making sure. I'm making sure that there wasn't anything else on the side that I might have missed. So here's the center again. There's the dragonfly. And then I'm going to turn around. And there's the, that's where the way we came in. So we didn't miss that. I don't think I missed uh, anything tucked away in this bottle. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have. Oh, there's a Starbucks. Somebody was asking where the Starbucks was. It's up there. I did not see the dresses over here. So I'm very, very, very glad that I came to this side. There are more dresses. Oh, it's okay. Life, like a butterfly, we are ready to spread our wings and take flight. Oh, you've been shouting out the names of the plant material. Oh, that's good. I, I, I need your help because I don't, not a, I don't know as much as you guys because, you know, I'm a city girl and I didn't have, um, you know, a garden. So I know some of the names of flowers just because I like flowers, but I'm not as well versed as some other people, perhaps, that, you know, are gardeners themselves. Here is Brienne Van Now more than ever, come together as a whole and uplift one another. Wow. That, this is uplifting. Look at that. Look at those shoulders. Wow, that's incredible, right? That's a really pretty design. Oh, wow, look at this one, guys. Now this one's bright. Wow, feathers inspired by the canary, a symbol of joy and freedom. 
Wow, now this is something else. This is a stunner. Let me show you this one. More at home in sweatpants, Jack. This, you wouldn't wear this? You don't want to look like a canary? You'd be the belle of the ball. <laughs> All right, one more, guys. Oh, man, look at this. I can't even imagine wearing this. Look at all the birds that would probably land on me if I tried to wear this in the park. Think about it. I'd be like the bird girl. <laughs> that would try to make a nest inside me. This is just as the branches of, the, of a tree strengthen and grow, we too grow stronger. Oh, that's a sweet message. No, the 7th Avenue side of the building does not have, um, it's only the Broadway side. That I'm positive of. I'm positive of that. The, the Seventh Avenue windows do not have any flowers. I'll go out that way and, and, I'll, sh and I'll make sure, but that's what I read online. Oh, this is out of the Louis Vuitton area, so I'm just showing you. They have all these, they have their spring collection, you can see. Very pretty, I'm gonna zoom in, look. Very pretty pastels. Extra good. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, look, there's a doggo. <laughs> You know, Hudson, we could have brought Hudson, but because I rollerbladed up, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take Hudson. And besides, I thought Hudson would be better, better to stay home with Jimmy and keep him company. Oh, they would start pecking me, Bonnie Badon. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's a pastel color Louis Vuitton bag. Just show you guys do that. Oh, I smell all the flowers. I really do. Look how pretty, guys. Oh man, it really smells good. Yep, so that's it. I covered everything. Covered it all, even took the wooden escalator. Let me show you the overview again, and then we'll go out the 7th Avenue exit just to show you guys. Yeah, it is a wonderland, right? I'm going to back up as much as I can. Yeah, Hudson and James are doing some bonding. That's right. And listen, Hudson certainly has enough toys to play with and treats. Oh yeah, it does make you want to get some flowers. It's just so beautiful. This is just so extra good. And I'll stay here for a second just in case you want to get a, a, a screenshot, anybody. Because this is it. This is the screenshot for sure. <laughs> it is. Uh, so I'm going to go out the 7th Avenue side. We'll walk through the center one more time, and then I'll show you the 7th Avenue windows, but I'm positive that it's, that it's just the, um, the one side. So pretty. Really, they outdid themselves this year. Very positive. Very beautiful. I mean, you really couldn't, you couldn't ask for more. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Really stunning. Show you some more, just on the, as we head out. Extra good. So there are some flowers here as you go out. Hudson from here. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, it's gaining traction. Here we go. So I'm going to go out onto the 7th Avenue, 34th Street. I mean, this is the 34th Street exit. But I'm, I'm pretty certain, yeah, no, no flower windows. Like I, like I thought, these, these windows are, are not the flowers. This is the main, you know, like this is the main big entrance, like the old entrance. I'm gonna go out in the street because there's no traffic right now, just to show you. 
See, this is the main drag right here. Statues, whole nine yards. Hold on, sorry about that. Um, we're gonna go, this is the other big entrance, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. We wanna be complete. We don't want to uh, shortchange you at all. But I'm positive that I did read that it's confined to the Broadway, the Broadway area. So, hold on. We'll just make sure though. Oh, well, here's one kind of like flowery window. So, okay, okay. We'll give it that. This has some flowers. It's not specifically flowers, but flowers are incorporated in the window. So that was good to check out. And I think maybe there's a couple of flowers incorporated in this window as well. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Love for Mother's Day, because that's coming up. That's May 9th. Oh, you got the picture back. Did the picture go away for guys? I did it, did it, um, I, I didn't realize the picture went away. I'm sorry if, if we had internet problems, but I was just showing you some of the windows that aren't specifically flowers, but they incorporated the flowers in the window display. And this would be the last, the last ones. And then that's it. Yes, they do still have the wooden escalators. I took them. You're going to have to rewind it back. Rewind the, uh, pl play, the play it again on replay, and you'll see I took the wooden escalators down, down the stairs. They most certainly do. You know I wasn't going to miss those. So look, guys, here's the Empire State Building. Extra good. Oh, my rollerblades are in my bag. I'm going to be putting them on soon because I'm going to rollerblade home. I got them. I got a big uh, backpack. It's specifically a rollerblade backpack, so it has side pockets that fit the rollerblades. See, look guys. See, it's a backpack, and then it fits rollerblade. <laughs> Pictures came back. Oh, I didn't even realize it was gone. Sorry guys, it looked good on my end, but I guess, you know, internet connectivity issues, the story of James and Carla's life, I mean, it was particularly bad in Florida. Yeah, there's still an entrance on 7th Avenue, but I didn't, you know, there's a lot of homeless and stuff there. I didn't feel like walking over there. Um, they're, they're begging and they're panhandling. I mean, it's a very sad situation. I just want to keep this positive. Even along 34th Street, you could see a lot of homeless people. Um, you know, because you bite by the uh, entrance to uh, the, um, Penn Station and and it's become like I mean I, I hate to say it but it's like you know they, they're living there it, it's very sad very sad indeed and I, I want to keep this positive today oh thank you Johanna Ricardo thank you so much for showing us a flower show with so much detail hope James is feeling better have a beautiful day oh thank you so much and Johanna we're gonna make it public, but right now it's only on our Patreon um, uh, page feed, is we have a special video that we took. I met Joanna on um, Saturday. She came into the city, James wasn't feeling well, so Hudson and I met her, and she gave Hudson extra special treats. Oh, here's a Dior display. And uh, that video is up on our Patreon page for Patreon members only. But I'll make it public um, as well. But for right now, I, I like to make things for the Patreon people to, to see it first. But thank you, Juana, for those beautiful treats from an independent pet store in um, New Jersey. It was these cookies that were all decorated, like with sprinkles and all these different shapes. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, you know, so give you all the details. You'll, you'll see the video when we make it public. Or if you decide to join our Patreon page, you'll see it before anybody else. But thank you, Anna, for that. So I'm going back to the Broadway area because I'm going to sit down. There, there was a lot of seating over there. And there's a lot of security. So it's safe for me to put my bag down 
put my roller blades back on and uh, then I'll roll a blade home to James and Hudson. So I'm back on the Broadway side, 34th at Broadway. This is where the windows are decorated for the flower show. Oh, hi, Eden, I'm Filiberto. He says, hola, hola, from New York City, hola. So, yep, this is the situation. Extra good, look at that. Extra good, guys. So I'm gonna go back, actually I really liked, instead of sitting on a little tiny flimsy seat, they have these seats. Look at this little birdie, look at the little birdie. You see the little birdie? Look how cute. Aww. <sighs> they, had, they have a, a big stone. I'm gonna go sit on that big stone and put my rollerblades back on. But I'll just, I just, I, I love these dresses. So maybe it's less reflectile right now. I can show you this dress. I don't, oh, it is still pretty reflectile. Oh, there we go. Look how pretty that looks. Yeah, isn't everything beautiful? These pink flowers are fake. Just so you know, this, these are silk, uh, Christina. But it still looks very beautiful. The, the, all the flowers in the window are real because they can control the temperature inside here. Out there, it's, it's fake, but these, these are real. <laughs> and this is the selfie area. I already did that before. I mean, I did the best I could with the selfie. <sighs> so guys, I'm gonna go back to my stone over here to put my rollerblades back on, my stone. right here by myself, extra good. Give you the overview of the scene here. Macy's Flower Show, Harold Square. I got you covered. We covered every inch of it. We went, went, we went downstairs, we went upstairs. Oh, and I wanna show you, look at this. Look at the um, Empire State Building. Isn't that cute? Extra good. All right, so let me get the gimbal back around. I'm going to take off my sneaker here. Get my rollerblade out. Hold on guys, I'm getting my rollerblade out. Rollerblade. Put that on. Oh my. Hold on guys. Like I said, not as easy to do with one hand as, as you think, but, but I'm doing okay. All right, I got one roller blade on, just tucking in, tucking my straps, because you gotta make it nice and tight, because otherwise your ankles can twist. It's just like skates. You know, like if you, if ever, ever, if any of you guys were ice skaters, because I, I skated too, your skates have to be very tight. Like when you, um, you know, you tighten them up, they're, they're really pretty tight. In fact, I remember a big thing that happened, I believe, um, in competition once when I was watching, I, get, I don't know if it was the Olympics, there was some big competition where one of the, the skaters' uh, laces broke, you know, during the competition. And, uh, you know, it's a big deal if, you're, if your lace breaks because you don't have the support, you know? And, uh, well, I don't think they ended up winning. But, yeah, it's very important for to be nice and secure on your foot. So I got both of them off, putting the other one on. I hope you guys had fun, enjoyed our little, I'm going to take my mask off now because I'm going to be rollerblading. And um, honestly, guys, I mean, I'm not anywhere near anybody else, and I can't rollerblade with a mask on. I, I need air. I need to breathe. I need a uh, fresh air in my lungs. So hold on, I'm getting, getting my other one strapped on. OK, 
okay? A, a triple cow, the, sal, the triple sow cow, right? So hold on, I'm gotta zip up my bag, zip my sneakers in there, pick up my mask, zipping. Here we go, I'm gonna have a little sip of water too, I think, while we're at it. Sorry about the gimbal moving all over the place. It's hard to, uh, to do all this. I give it up to all the YouTubers who are by themselves all the time. I'm usually so spoiled having James with me that, you know, I could just hand him the gimbal or he hands me the gimbal if we want a sip of water or we have to tie our shoelace or, you know, unzip our jacket, zip our jacket. But when you're all by yourself, I'm giving up to them, to, to Action Kid and everybody else that's, that's doing it by themselves. Mmm. Having some nice cold water. Extra good. Hydrating myself for my rollerblade back. And if you guys want to stay with me, I don't mind streaming and rollerblading. We'll take a different route. If you remember, I took Broadway up. Let's, um, let's take Fifth Avenue back, back downtown. What do you think of that idea? And I'll, I'll stream it because why not? It might be fun. Who knows what we'll see. And then we'll uh, end at Union Square again. You know, we'll start from, we started at Union Square, we'll make a full circle around. And we'll end by Union Square and Fifth. So I'm just double checking the tightness of my rollerblades. Check, check, check. Zipping up my bag. I gotta snap it closed. Snap. All right, here we go. Getting ready. I got my, uh, just in case if I need my mask, I got that on my hand. And we're off. Here we go. Let me put my backpack on my back. I'm in the designated bike lane, and off we go. And uh, there's the flower show. Christina says, I couldn't skate to save my life. Listen, you know, oh, Mark's saying I had a lot of fun. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to give this to you guys to show you this because it just opened on Sunday and it's going to be up for like uh, two more weeks till the 16th, a little less than two weeks now. But uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's free. So extra good. I mean, why not, right? So let's make the light here. We're crossing 34th Street. Say goodbye to Macy's. I'll spin myself around. There we go. There's the whole scene. 34th Street, Macy's, flower show, extra good. So let's continue down the bike path. Off we go. We're going to zoom, zoom, zoom. I can pick up speed now. Right now I'm on 6th Avenue, but I'm going to cross to 5th because 6th is like uh, kind of boring. 5th will be far more fun, I think. 6th is, nah, not that exciting. We took Broadway up, we'll take 5th back. Okay. There was a little oil slick. I don't know if you felt that. My left, uh, my left foot went out because like, it's just like if you, um, you know, if any of you guys have a motorcycle, ride a motorcycle, you gotta be always like a little bit more careful for when there's oil on the ground because you know, well, depending on the tires, I guess, that you're using, how sticky they are. But like when there's an oil patch, you can, you only have the two wheels as opposed to a car that has four wheels. And uh, can, uh, you can lose your grip. Same thing with the rollerblade. There was a big oil, a thing of oil, you know, by a parked car and I just lost the traction on my left skate, but it didn't matter because I had my right one going fine, but I don't know if you felt the gimbal go, whoops, a little bit, but I'm fine. Oh, just some fire engine activity. Oh, wow. Look, I didn't realize I'm going right alongside the Empire State Building. Here we go, look. 
let's stop and take a little view. Uh, let me go in between here. Hold on. I'm going to duck myself in here and show you. Not this parked car, Boresville, but the <laughs> Empire State Building. That's what it looks like, the, the bottom part of it. So I just thought I'd show you that. OK. Here we go. What about Rollerblades to Central Park? Yeah, Mark, well, I'll do that on another day. I think this was a good journey for today. That'll be another day. That's not a problem. That's easy. That's all easy stuff for me. I'll take you anywhere on the Rollerblades. See, I went up on the sidewalk. I just zip right along. I don't like to stay, I, I stay out on the street because, um, you know, I don't like to, I'm more comfortable being out on the street than worrying about pedestrians that might be on the sidewalk, to be honest. So I just, I make it like I'm a bicyclist, even though I'm not. I'm comfortable doing it. You know, I don't want any pads. You can see, here's my arm. I don't want any pads on my knees or elbows or any of that stuff. I mean, I honestly, I've only fallen once for the years and years and years that I've been rollerblading. And that was only because it was winter time. It had snowed and there was a whole bunch of sand on the ground and a taxi cut me off and I had to stop short because otherwise I would have hit into the taxi. So I made a quick right turn and there was a whole patch of sand on the ground and I wiped out because I lost traction, like I was saying, like a motorcycle. It was the only time I ever fell. Otherwise, I mean, I'm not tooting my own horn, but I have really good balance and I'm, I mean, I know how to handle them, I guess you could say. So I just do my thing. Oh, hey, uh, Benny Hanna, what was that? Bell Hanin. Fadala, I mean that pretty good while rollerblading. Grab the back of a biker. Yeah, John P. You know, like people do that, they they hang on to the, like I could hang on to that Porsche there. That would be good. Then I'd be going real fast. I just gotta watch out for the potholes. My eyes are more concerned about the potholes than anything else. Because the potholes can be the death of me. I mean, not that I'll die, I'll just, like that. See, look at that big pothole. Not good. Not good for rollerblades. I mean, the roads in New York are crap. Look, more potholes. Not good for rollerblades. You know, fine for a car, you just go over it. It's not gonna swallow up your car. But for rollerblades, not too good. Yeah, burning calories, exactly. People say, wow, how can you stay so skinny? Because, I mean, I rollerblade, I run, I walk everywhere with James and Hudson. We're doing things all the time. So you see, it's pretty quick. I know, I love rollerblading because A, it's exercise, B, it's free. I can get there faster places than I could take the subway. Like if I had taken the subway to Macy's, it would have taken me a minimum 15 minutes because first I got to get to Union Square, then I got to wait for a train, and then I got to, uh, you know, it's got to get there. It stop, makes stops. Here I just, you know, I go right through. Quick, free, quick, fun. I like it, exercise, checks all the boxes. Like I said, the only thing is you gotta watch out for the potholes. So here we are at Madison Square Park already. Oh, someone was asking before, oh, here's the uh, Flatiron Building. Well, here I am busy, talk, 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 talk. I'm gonna miss the Flatiron Building. Don't wanna miss that. It's covered in scaffolding, so it doesn't look that pretty. But there is a Shake Shack right in there, guys. Right in Madison Square Park. I won't go, wait, you know the light's turning red and they're not, are they gonna stop? Sometimes you can't, you can't always trust in New York City that people actually stop for a red light. So you have to make double shore, but I'll show you where the Shake Shack is, I don't mind. Here we go. Quick detour into Madison Square Park, 
which honestly, back in the day, like when James and I were first friends in the 80s, this was like a big homeless encampment, drug dealing. Nobody would come here except if you were dealing drugs, buying drugs. It was terrible. But now, look at it, it's full of families. It's like a beautiful park now. You know, they cleaned it up. These are the little eating areas for Shake Shack. Uh, uh, yeah, here's the Shake Shack, just to show you. There we go. And look at all these tulips. Ooh, extra good, guys. Yeah, Chris Bates, Times Square, even worse in the 80s. Please. Prostitution, drug deals, you name it. Now look at it. Now it's Disney, you know? Oh, this is, um, this is a place called, was named Live Bait before it became known as Flat Fix, but that went out of business because of the pandemic. You see bar, restaurant, there's an old neon and you see the sign bar across the street. That's in our New York Nights book. We have a beautiful picture of it at night with the live bait sign all lit up, neon aglow. It was one of the places that James and I first went to back in the 80s. You know, sometimes we would just meet at different places in the city and that was one of the places we would meet up. When we, were, we weren't even dating, we were just friends. But I like to point out my little, all the little things. Oh, so here's the flat iron building. Here's the side of it as I wait for the light here. You can see part, the prow is scaffolded. But there's the side of it. Let me look up, 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 up. There we go. I'm underneath the light. That's what you were seeing. Across the light. Oh, yeah, I was a Toronto guy. You're right. I was always pretty athletic. Oh, here I am back on Broadway again. I was going to take fifth, but, uh, you know, we made a side side journey into the park, so that landed me back on Broadway again, but that's okay. Broadway is actually nicer right now because it, um, look, we got new pavements here. See guys, they just paved this. So no, I'm not gonna fall on this. This is like paradise. Look, I can do tricks. Look, I'm gonna do sideways. Whoa. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm fine. I was showing off, my fault. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> hey guys, don't worry about me. Hey, the phone didn't even break or anything. Hold on. You're going to get all gimbled out. James is going to be all worried about me. But don't worry about me. Hold on. Feed might have ended, but if it didn't, don't worry. I'm fine. Hold on, guys. Yeah, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know if the gimbal's, uh, the, the phone is fine. I don't know if the gimbal's okay. The gimbal seems to be a little wanky right now. So I'm gonna hold the phone and we're gonna say goodbye. I'm fine. See, I was showing off. I was gonna do a trick for you. And that was my bad. I was showing off. Hold on, I'm gonna take the, the mic out. I was showing off for you guys. There's no traffic here, so nothing happened. There's this, the street is close to traffic, so I'm just hand holding this now. But don't worry about me. That's my fault for showing off, saying I'll do some tricks, because I stopped looking down, I broke my cardinal rule, and um, there was a sewage grate. So I, it, I tripped and fell. And I guess got saying that I've only fallen on my rollerblades once. Now it's twice. So. Yeah, you were being entertaining, not showing off. <laughs> yeah, don't, no, I didn't break anything, no. I, I mean, you know, I guess part of knowing gymnastics is knowing how to fall, and I, I'm, I fell fine. I, maybe I scraped my elbow, probably. Um, yeah, a little bit. You wanna see the scrape? I'll, maybe I'll show it to you. Can you see it? There we go. There's, that's the extent of my injury. 
So I'm okay. I'm going to end the stream because I'm going to pack all this stuff up. I think uh, without a gimbal, it will be too shaky. And um, yeah, I hope that the bring your bundle didn't break. Maybe it just needs to be reset. Well, I'll find out. Um, I got a warranty for it. So at any rate, they'll give me a free one if I broke it. So extra good guy. Yeah, road rash tattoo. Exactly, Chris. John P says, ouch. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, here, let me um, actually, ugh, hold on. I was just sitting down, show you a sideways. I'm gonna take my backpack off because I'm just sitting down here. <sighs> I'm fine, don't you worry about me. All is good, just a little elbow rash. And yeah, signing off, I'm gonna do uh, selfie mode. You can see, all good. Got the Hudson t-shirt, all good. And yeah, signing out guys, thanks for watching. Extra good. And uh, please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. All right, bye guys.